Yes, these cost 60,000 rupees or $550 depending on where you're watching this from. Yes, they also have a case that looks like a bra or a purse and it is the most annoying and probably one of the worst cases Apple has ever made for any product on the market. Yes, it's also the only way that you can turn these AirPods off as there's no power button. You have to put them into this shitty case, which means you have to carry it absolutely everywhere you go. And yes, I absolutely hate the case. Now that I've got all of that out of the way, let's talk about the AirPods Max. Six months later, we're going to revisit them today and we're going to do this really, really quick and figure out if it's actually worth the price. Okay, so now that we're done with the design of the case, let's be completely honest, the AirPods Max are a fantastic design. You've got shiny metal, you've got comfortable ear cups, the ear cups are easily removable. You also have a headband that's made out of mesh, which is absolutely fantastic. The color finishes are pristine, and overall, the design of these headphones is really, really great. It is one of the most unique looking headphones on the market when you compare it, especially to other brands such as Sony, Bose, who have a very standard design and almost all the headphones look very similar to each other. The AirPods Max have this really unique retro look to them. Overall, they're extremely heavy, so when you put them on your head, you may feel it but the mesh band on top really does help distribute the weight evenly and it's really going to come down to your head size and your personal preference about how much the weight of these headphones actually bothers you. I've used them for a prolonged period of time. I use them for video editing, I use them for watching movies, even gaming and I've had a fantastic experience so on my head. They're absolutely comfortable. And one of the most important things that you're going to be looking at when you're buying a headphone worth 60,000 rupees or 550 US dollars is the sound quality that comes out of these headphones. If you're going to be paying a price, you want the best sound quality for any consumer headphone on the market. And let's be perfectly honest, they sound great. The sound stage is extremely wide it's really really good the instrument separation is fantastic you can literally hear every instrument in your tracks there are certain tracks that i have revisited after a very very long time on my playlist and i fell in love with them one more time because i started hearing sounds that i never heard before and remember i came to these headphones from the bose 700s which is bose's flagship model and this just makes everything sound a little bit better overall the sound stage is extremely wide like i said and it actually feels like the sound is coming from around your head and not from one place basically means you get a really nice surround sound effect all these headphones sound really really good other than that the highs the lows and the mids are very very well balanced bass is pronounced but it's not overpowering you're going to be able to hear the vocals and the treble in your music even though the bass is nice and powerful it's very obvious at this point in 2021 that apple knows how to do sound these headphones also come with features such as noise cancellation and transparency let's talk about the latter first transparency is fantastic it's probably the best i've seen on any pair of headphones at the mark i do have the airpods pro which come with transparency but this is definitely better with respect to other brands such as sony and bose i have never used a sony pair of headphones in my life but the Bose 700s also come with their own transparency mode and I've noticed that sounds really really digital but this has the most natural sounding transparency mode in any consumer pair of headphones on the market. Now let's be perfectly honest, a lot of people don't know what transparency mode is. What it basically means is you have microphones on these headphones. When you're listening to music, it's going to allow sound from your surrounding to come into your ears through the mics on this headphone and it's going to blend it in with the sound that's actually playing. Now the problem with this on other headphones is it sounds extremely digital and all the outside sound that's coming in is going to have a weird compression to it. But the sound that comes from the outside on these headphones sounds super natural as features basically so that you can stay aware while you're enjoying your music they also come with noise cancellation noise cancellation is active noise cancellation which basically means the headphones will apply noise cancellation basis the ambient sound in the room or in the area that you're sitting at and to be completely honest just like every other consumer pair of headphones on the market noise cancellation will create a vacuum seal on your ears so i don't use it that often i mainly use it on an airplane or if i'm sitting in a coffee shop but i don't use it for very prolonged periods of time and it's definitely going to affect you after a certain point of time but the fact of the matter is that every Every consumer pair of headphones on the market has the exact same issue with noise cancellation where it feels like you have a vacuum seal on your ear. Other than that, with respect to the power in the noise cancellation, I've used the Bose 700s and I can definitely tell you that six months later, the noise cancellation's only gotten better on these headphones. According to me, it's equivalent to any other consumer brand on the market and at certain times with certain songs, it's even better. With respect to convenience and connectivity, if you're within the Apple ecosystem, the connection is supreme. It's like nothing else on the market. All you gotta do is pull these out of the case and you're gonna instantly see the AirPods Max notification pop up on all the Apple devices around. You. The only downside to the connection on this is that if you have multiple Apple devices, like for example, an iPad, an iPhone, and a Mac open and around you at the same time, it may switch between devices on its own every now and then, but that's okay because 90% of the time it works really, really well, except for the odd 10% when it'll just shift devices without your permission. And that's a little bit annoying. Other than that, the convenience factor is fantastic. You pull these out of the case, put them on your head and they're already connected and you'll have instant music or video playback through these headphones. You can just continue doing whatever you were doing almost seamlessly. Now with respect to controls, these headphones only 
have two buttons on them. One is the digital crown, which is over here, and one is noise cancelling and transparency mode button, which is over here. These buttons, like I said, control the noise cancellation and the transparency mode. This button works fantastically well. The digital crown, honestly, when it came out first, I was a little skeptical about it, and I didn't like the placement being so high above on your head. I kind of wish it was placed somewhere down on the headphone. But honestly, over a period of time, once you start using it, you're just going to get used to it, and the digital crown is extremely, extremely precise. I think they've done a fantastic job with respect to the crown as well as the ANC button on this pair of headphones. The only downside to the physical controls on this device is the fact that you don't have a power button. Honestly, it's a very Apple thing to do where they have prioritized convenience so that you just pull it out of your case, it turns on, you put it back into the case, it turns off. But there are a lot of times when you just pull it off your head and you put it down on your bed and you forget to put it in your case. In such situations, these headphones are going to stay on for at least two hours before they actually go into low power mode. The only way to trigger the low power mode without a time delay is to put it into this stupid case and I absolutely hate how it looks. So to be completely honest, the lack of power button is a downside to these headphones, but it's going to be a personal perspective. There are certain people who actually like the case and if you do, great. If you don't, well, you don't have a choice. That's what you get when you buy these headphones. Now, another issue that you find with these headphones specifically in cities that are really, really hot and humid, really comfortable mesh ear cups on them. But in cities like Bombay, where it's extremely hot and extremely humid, if you're sitting in the afternoon during the day and it's a hot day and you're doing a bunch of work, don't have an air conditioner on in your room, you're definitely going to feel the heat on your ears start to generate and that's going to cause your ears to sweat. Eventually, all that water from your ears is going to seep through these ear cups and it's going to end up here right near the drivers. This has caused a certain amount of distress in the Apple community as well as in the consumer community as when the water accumulates inside these drivers, there is a risk that your drivers, the sound drivers of these headphones might get damaged and that is definitely a downside. And there's also another issue that's propped up when your sweat accumulates inside here, you have had connection drops on these headphones. You have had moments where the headphones just wouldn't play any music and won't give you any playback. Now, honestly, this has happened to me only once because I use these mainly indoors or I use them on a flight and normally I make sure I'm in an air-conditioned room and in a controlled environment when I'm using these because that's what they're for, for comfort. So I've had this issue only once when I originally bought the headphones and I just opened up these cups and left my headphones on the bed to dry and I never had any more issues. Once they dried out, everything was perfectly fine. But you have to be aware about this. You have to be conscious about this. You don't want to use this in a hot environment because it's definitely going to lead to water seepage into the drivers. Last but not the least, we have to figure out if these headphones six months later are still worth 60,000 rupees or 550 US dollars. Now, to be completely honest, if you're in the Apple ecosystem, 100%, I would say go for these headphones if you have the money to splurge. If you're looking for a premium pair of noise cancelling headphones, yes, you're going to get amazing convenience with your connectivity within the Apple ecosystem. You're going to get extremely good build quality, really comfortable headphones on the overall, a really nice retro design, an absolutely stupid case, and you're going to get really, really great noise cancellation and transparency modes within these headphones. So yes, they are fantastic. And if you're on the Apple ecosystem, this is definitely the direction that you want to take. But if you're not in the Apple ecosystem, don't worry, it's still a solid pair of headphones and it's not going to disappoint you if you buy these. But honestly, for you guys, you're going to lose out on something that's really, really important, which is the convenience of connectivity, which these headphones have within the ecosystem. You're not going to get that instant pairing with your devices. So that is something that is a massive downside for somebody who's not within the Apple ecosystem. As long as you have any Apple product around you, like an iPad, an iPhone or a Mac, this is great. If you don't, you're going to lose one of the most important features that any AirPods on the market bring to you. Other than that, there's still a solid pair of headphones. If you're not within the Apple ecosystem, the Sony and the Bose headphones do come really, really close to this who have slightly cheaper alternatives. Overall, I'm extremely happy with these six months later. I've had no issues. They're really, really easy to use. They're a lot of fun. They do give me amazing sound quality and they've made me fall in love with my music yet again. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found this informative. If you did like this video, definitely hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like and share this video. Hit the bell notification icon for more tech tips in the near future. Sindhu Chawla, see you next time. Peace.